Hello everyone. Thank you for joining us. In today's webinar, using one of our flagship products, EMS for SolidWorks, we will analyze transformers using AC harmonic and transient studies. We will also perform no load and short circuit analysis on a transformer model generated using transformer wizard available with EMS software. Through this webinar, we will learn how a transformer can be modeled inside SOLIDWORKS and simulated inside EMS in a seamlessly integrated environment. Before discussing today's agenda, let me introduce us. My name is Cal and I handle sales and marketing division of our company. My colleague Dr. Mahmood Bijan is working as a senior product manager in EMWorks. He will be delivering the technical part of today's webinar where he will talk about various capabilities of our flagship product EMS for SOLIDWORKS. Before moving on, I would like to highlight few points. During this course of presentation, if you have any questions, please feel free to use the chat window to type in your questions. We will answer them at the end of this presentation or will reply to you via emails. A webinar recording link will be sent to all the registrants in few days. Our agenda for today is following. I will briefly talk about our company EMWorks, where we are located and what products we offer. Then my colleague will present the technical part of this webinar. At the end of the technical presentation, I will talk about various learning resources offered by EMWorks for its software users. Now let us take a quick overview on our company EMWorks. EMWorks offers 3D and 2D electromagnetic simulation software as an add-in tool for SOLIDWORKS and Autodesk Inventor 3D CAD. Our company was founded in the year 2000. We have a vast sales network in the form of two offices and a global reseller channel. We provide our solutions and services directly or through a reseller in America, Europe and Asia Pacific region. Our company has a strong research and development team with years of experience in the field of electromagnetics. In addition, our products are gold certified by Tesor System SolidWorks Corporation since 2008. As you can see on the screen, we have two office locations. Our headquarters is in Montreal, Canada, and we have another office in Germany. We offer four products with various add-ons covering a wide frequency range. Our first product is called EMS, which is used for electric and magnetic field modeling for low frequency applications. It covers many applications like insulators, cables, bus bars, permanent magnets, circuit breakers, transformers, and electrical machines. Our second flagship product is called HFWorks, which is used for electromagnetic simulation of RF, microwave, high frequency and high speed electrical and electronic devices. It covers applications including wide range of antennas, resonators, filters, connectors and waveguides. Our third product is called EMWorks 2D, which currently offers static analysis and simulation of planar and axisymmetric geometries. Our latest edition is Motor Wizard Software, which is a template-based motor design tool. It currently offers analytical and finite element analysis of brushless DC electrical motors. In addition to these solutions, we offer few multiphysics add-ons like thermal, motion, linear statics, and circuits. In today's webinar, Mahmood will utilize EMS product to model and analyze a transformer application. Let us briefly touch upon the licensing structure offered by EMWorks. We offer three different programs, commercial, academic, and startup. Each program has its own benefits and requirements. Within commercial program, we offer perpetual licenses, while in the rest of the two programs, our licensing structure is usually annual based. The topic for today's presentation is modeling and multiphysics analysis of transformers. 
My colleague Mahmood will focus on various topics during this technical presentation, including generating a model using transformer wizard, AC harmonic and transient analysis of a transformer, and multiphysics analysis, including thermal and linear statics. I would now request my colleague Mahmood to take over and present the next part of this presentation. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Cal. Hello, everybody. This is Mahmoud. I'm senior product manager at Inworks. So I'm going to continue the technical presentation from here. And if you have any question, please feel free to ask in the chat box, and we will uh, answer the question after the presentation. So our presentation, as I my as my colleague mentioned, uh, is about cap modeling and multiphysic analysis of transformer using solid board. So this presentation does include some introduction about the transformer and its application. After that, we are going to talk about an analysis that is needed to uh, for transformers, and after that, we will show how EM works can help you regarding this uh, an different type of analysis. And at the end, we will have some small uh, tips about the, how to improve our uh, simulation process. And at the end, we will answer the questions. So uh, you, as you may know, the transformer is a, a device, is an essential device, and almost using you know, Everywhere, if you look at it around, uh, you can find mm, probably in any devices. What is the transformer? Transformer is a simple structure. It has two winding and one core. What happens when we apply the voltage, the time varying voltage to one of the coils, one of the windings? And this winding create in the field, a time varying field, which passes through another winding that and it induced in voltage in the secondary voltage. So what happens here, the value of the voltage that in the sec is induced in the secondary winding is uh, depends on the number of turns of the first and second winding. So uh, simply, this device or transformer can help us to change the level of the voltage of current. So this is uh, very useful in many, many applications. Uh, some of the well-known applications here, like the main and the biggest application is the power system transmission. Transformers are built in from milliwatt to a few milliwatt up to the several megawatt uh, of course, it's not megawatt, it's megavolt ampere. And uh, they are used in many different applications. The main one, the biggest one, is the power system transmission, where we use uh, to change the level of the voltage and current for transmission lines. For example, in power station, when we generate the voltage, it's at certain like 13 kilo, uh, 13 kilo volt, and we try to increase the voltage to up to 400 volt, kilo volt. And then we send by transmission line. This helps us to reduce the current in the transmission line and reduce the uh, losses of the transmission line. So, and when it reaches to the consumers in the cities, uh, in, the man, in, a, in the factories, we reduce the, this voltage to our desired voltage using a step down transform. So, uh, another application of the Transformer or uh, for uh, for measurement based purpose such as we have uh, such as CT and PT which they are used to uh, <clears throat> measure current and voltage high level of current and voltage. Sometimes we use transformers which are just to create the isolation within two areas because uh, by using some one to one transformer and sometimes we use it for impedance balance like inside uh, microphones and stuff. So it has very wide range of application. So uh, when we design or we want to use a transform, we need to understand, uh, we need to understand the performance. So we need to have analysis. So there are main type of analysis that we run for transformer. Of course, some of them may not be 
use for the small one, but uh, this can be done for all of them. It's a very common thing. First thing is electromagnetic analysis, which gives an idea about how well uh, transformer operates in terms of the inducing voltage from uh, primary to secondary, what's the efficiency, what is the losses, and so on, what's the uh, leakage flux, and what is the coupling, and these all ideas about how this transformer performed well in terms of electromagnetic performance. And so for this purpose, there are some well-known uh, tests like NOVO test, short circuit test, or loading analysis, which can be easily done uh, with, uh, and well documented in, uh, uh, in the community, in the scientific community. We have also the thermal analysis. So when we load the we use the transformer, so they are not ideal. They have, there is a resistance in the coil. There is a core loss in the core, the steel core. And so these are creating uh, some losses. Losses means we are going to create some heat. So we need to understand how much our uh, transformer is going to be heated. So uh, we design a cool, proper cooling system. And at the end, we have structural analysis. This is good for some special conditions, especially, for example, consider a transformer which uh, short circuit happens in it, and with high current creates some strong field, which might create some strong forces and causes the formation of the uh, <coughs> uh, core. So these are very important. EM works, uh, which is a software uh solution company provides us this very good tools regarding how to analyze transformer so uh, the first part the first point of analyzing a transformer is to create cat model the cat model is that uh, we use uh, trans uh, em works provide us the transformer wizard we have an option that we can using we can use transformer wizard to create the model simply using some templates, some predefined geometry. It's to simplify the process of creating a CAT model. Otherwise, if you are not happy with it, you can go with customized mode. Then we have EMS, which EMS provides us three, all three mentioned uh, analysis, electromagnetic, thermal, and structural. When we don't so magnetic analysis, we can have induced voltage and current, losses and efficiency, inductance is coupling, forces. And for the thermal, we are going to have temperature distribution, heat fluxes. And for the structural, we are going to displacement and deformation, stresses, reaction forces, and so on. So we are going to have, we are going to see later these. I'm going to show you how to create all these analysis in EMS. Okay, so now I'm going to switch from here to the software. I'm going to show you how to create a CAT model using transformers. And then I'm going to go to the EMS and I'm going to show you how we create a study and analyze all transformer. So let's move. Okay, as I mentioned, the first step of analysis is to create a CAT model of the transformer. And so you can do a CAT model by yourself, but the EMWorks provide a solution for you to simplify this process. And this uh, solution is also called Transformer Wizard. If you install this Transformer Wizard, which is uh, absolutely free and you can get it uh, without any cost for yourself and use it. Uh, if you install this motor wizard, uh, sorry, Transformer Wizard, it's going to be added here. You can see it's uh, there. And then you can click here. It opens a window for you here. You have a, a couple of tabs to create and build the model. The first part is about, uh, as you have a dimension, it's a 3D or 2D. Of course, we are going to create 3D. There is no 2D in this case yet. But uh, you can simply later on create your 2D using the 3D model. Then you have an option to create a single phase or three phase transform. Uh, you select it, then you go for the core. And here you have a couple of options. You can click 
and choose any of them. But if for simplicity, if you want, it's for visual purpose, you can click here. You can see there are like different type of the uh, transformer. Here you have also option to switch to the single phase or back three phase. For example, you can select this one. And then you have to uh, work on the option. If you want to see, uh, you have to give the dimensions of this uh, transformer to uh, the software, and then it's going to develop. For example, here is the core properties, it's the width and the height of the window. So you send here, you put the number, then you have uh, the number of the packet. What does it mean, the number of packets? It's this layers. You see that the transformer is going to have a different layers or as you call it packet. And then here is a number one, or you can have different one. Then if you, for example, change it here, then the option is going to change. So let's put it to the one. And then the dimension of the packet, you have to put it there. Next tab, you determine the num the boobin. And the boobin, you have to select it. It's a cylindrical, or you can have the rounded one, or track boobin. Uh, and when you select it, these are the different uh, things. Like, for example, if you select this one, there you have this boobin. You can uh, select, and uh, based on the geometry that you have, you fill these numbers. And at the end, you have the coil, which is the length of the coil. The width, uh, you can see, just click here, you can see the size of the coil. You can feel it here, the thickness, the height, the radius, and stuff. And the same thing for the secondary. This is a primary, and this is the secondary. You would uh, feel this stuff. There. You have the unit. It can be millimeter, centimeter, or inch. You can use it. And once you've finished, you have to validate your uh, geometry. and. Just click here, generate. The software is going to start to generate a CAD model for you. It might take a, a few minutes because it's going to create a 3D, complete 3D model for you, and you are going to see it. Oh, yeah, we have the model here. It's very fast. You see it, but so fast you created the 3D model. The cold boobin, of course, by the numbers was just in random numbers, but in case you have the proper number, you can uh, select uh, any number that uh, it's, uh, fits your model. So, as you see, by using the transformer wizard, you can simply trans uh, get your uh, transformer and you can play with the number. Once you've finished, once you finish the model, then uh, it comes to the next step, which is the analysis, uh, analysis of the, this uh, transformer. I'm just uh, telling you we are going to go for the 3D, but uh, to who might be interested to let you know that creating uh, solid uh, EMS also provides a solution to create the same model in the 2D with simple. If you want to, you are interested, you can go to our website and look for the 2D simulation and find out how we can transfer a 3D model to the 2D mode. So I'm going to continue the next part with uh, about simulation. Okay, uh, we saw that how we can uh, create a geometry cap model of the transformer using transformer wizard. However, it doesn't matter if you have from transformer wizard or uh, your own cat, and uh, after that, uh, the analysis is the same as same for both of them. So, uh, we uh, when you install the EMS for for analysis, we use the EMS, uh, which is the electromagnetic analysis uh, software. And uh, when you install it, uh, it, uh, it comes to with inside the solid work, and you can see the EMS manager tab here is added into the. So uh, solid for tabs. Okay, so here you have an option when you uh, in, uh, come to your CAT model, you have an option here. You create different type of study. What type of study you have it here? Let's see. 
you have mag static mag AC magnetic, transient magnetic, electrostatic, electric conduction, and AC electric. Normally for transformer, we use AC magnetic and transient magnetics. Then you have the option for calculating core loss. And also you have option to, uh, to, uh, to couple to the thermal analysis, to structural analysis, motion analysis or uh, coupling to circuit. Of course, in transformer, there is no motion analysis. We don't need it, but uh, the other uh, options are very useful. We have another option here. It is the advanced properties to define the multi-core solver or increase the accuracy of the solver. So it's very simple. So uh, let's back here. The main thing that we are gonna see here is a transient or AC magnetic, okay? Uh, let's see how these two analysis will be. Let's first see the transient. When you define a transient, it's going to have a tree like this. In the first one, for each component, you have to apply material. Uh, I'm not going to go to details already. If you want to, you can uh, go to our website to see the uh, how to use the EMS assigned material and stuff. But just to let you know that you can select here, apply material, and we have a big library of the material, which is well categorized and classified here based on the type like cables. We have conductors, we have electrical steels. You can see it's a different standard, linear, non-linear, permanent magnet materials, plenty of the materials that you can use and apply the material. Then, you have uh, the coil definition. You can define simply the coil. You can have uh, solid coil or wound coil. Normally for the transformers, we use the wound coil. Then you will have uh, the number of the turns, the size of the conductor or the type of source, which can be voltage source or current source. Of course, the transformers voltage source. And you can define the type of the source. It can be exponential, pulse, or sine wave, different type of the sources you can define, and then you apply uh, to the code. Of course, you have option to connect to the circuit, which is different than this. Then, if you want to calculate forces, for example, here you can see that we define some Lorentz force on the, co on the coils. You want to see how much force uh, they have to tolerate and so it's important for installation of the transformer. Uh, and we have a mesh option that uh, if you, in case you want to apply some mesh refinement to some areas, then you can use this uh, option from here. And at the end, you are gonna have the result. For example, here we run the uh, open circuit analysis, we apply the two, uh, we apply the input voltage of the almost two kilowatt Two kilovolt to the input. You can see almost two kilovolt uh, to the input. And you want to see what's the current, what's the induced voltage and stuff. You are going to see it here. For example, if you want to this uh, secondary voltage, we have, we have like almost five hundred, uh, four hundred volt in the secondary. So it's the step down transformer easily can be seen. We have other type of result, current, inductance, or whatever you want. We have core loss. And we have almost everything. So in terms of the electrical parameters, you can see different things here. And work on it. So uh, transient is a bit fair case to analyze different uh, electromagnetic behavior of the machine. Uh, I'm not uh, showing here, but you have option open circuit, short circuit. So, uh, and you can also have, uh, you can uh, couple this trans into the circuit. Very nice to define the circuit. When you define the coils, that you can apply the coils here and define any type of connection you want, a star connection, delta connection, or whatever you want. If you want to add the load, in this case, you see we added the 100 ohm uh, load to the secondary of the transformer and then the same as before you are going to see the same result in the not the, not the same result i mean same category of the result that we have it before see this is the current uh, that uh, we get from this three-phase transformer 
in the secondary side. So it's uh, very quite useful in terms of the electrical and electromagnetic behavior. You can also go here and see some field analysis. You can see that the how much, what is the magnetic flux density distribution inside the core. Uh, and if you want to see different steps, you can come here and for different times, you can see it's changing at different times. And if in case you are interested, you can simply animate this process. Okay, so very useful uh, in terms for electric and electromagnetic analysis. Besides the uh, transient magnetic, we have another one which is AC magnetic, as I mentioned. This one is a little different. It's not time-based simulation. It's uh, almost a steady state simulation based on the one single cycle of the machine. And it is useful when you are okay with it and you want to see other uh, options, like for example, we saw that the system is working for loading. Let's see what happens when uh, we change the load. For example, here we apply, we use the, as you can see, we use the, this connection RLC load. And you want to see it, uh, what's the result. Then you are going to have the result, but this time it's not. Time-based result is based on the one, just the numbers, like you can see based on, it's a complex number. It's more like a complex theory that we use to analyze the circuit, but here it combined with the FEA analysis giving you some result. For example, the voltage that you can see here with the complex number is the same as kind of voltage value and the phase. So this might be very useful in terms of the, reducing the simulation time. So you can uh, couple this electromagnetic analysis with the thermal and the structural. So in terms when you, uh, for example, come here, then the final study uh, like AC magnetic, then couple with the thermal structural. So what's happening, uh, the thing that happened, it's like here, you are gonna have extra options. Like before that we had this, uh, thermal that we met, uh, sorry, so magnetic that we have the material and defining the code. And now just can you have to have uh, different options for the uh, thermal analysis and structural analysis. You have to give the inputs for the, like this one, you have to define kind of things that you want convection or heat flux or the temperature or whatever it is. You define it, you apply it to your model and your own analysis. Same thing for the structural, uh, in case that we, in this case, we define some fixed points and then after the fixed points, then we try to calculate forces and stuff. You see that there is a plenty of the option, force, pressure, gravity, this kind of thing that you may want to apply to your model. So you apply it and you run the simulation. And when you run simulation, you are going to get for each analysis different with uh, different section of the result. This result, as we saw it before, is for the uh, uh, electromagnetic analysis. We saw it before. And then we have the thermal analysis, which is important one, like temperature distribution. You see uh, the temperature distribution in the core is changing. And if you're using this color type, you can follow it. How much is it different uh, at different points? Uh, you also uh, have the like the heat flux that we had that you can see different things. Okay, this is the heat flux that you can see and uh, follow uh, the result. Same thing for a structural, you are going to have it here. The main thing that we might use it is displacement, or as we can say, is the deformation. You can see that the displacement of the uh, how it will be based on the <coughs> meter. It's a uh, small forces that uh, come to the uh, edges, especially the, uh, there are forces on the edges. And there are some other results like stress. It's a, it's a main like mechanical stuff. People are, are interested in the mechanical side of the transformer. Might be interested in this one. And uh, it's good. It's good to see safety factor and all other results. So. It's uh, quite a big uh, range of the results.
as uh, let me conclude this one. Okay, this as you see we, in this soft, we have plenty of the option: electromagnetic, thermal, structural, and we can have access to circuit. We can define whatever type of connection you want, uh, star, delta, or any desired connection, and you can have different loads. You see that, that we're using the circuit. We have ability for different load, and you saw that also that uh, we have. This uh, core loss calculation and some well known electrical, mechanical, and thermal uh, result that we want. So it's very useful and very powerful. Okay, let's back to the presentation for as a final slide of my presentation. I'm going to give you some advice about the best practice. So the first thing is that uh, uh, you bet uh, you it's good to know that uh, you can use symmetry to reduce the simulation time and so EMS gives you ability to run the half or quarter of the simulation. It's up to you. It depends on the geometry of your model and can use it to reduce the simulation time and get the result faster. Uh, another thing is that uh, I suggest you to use AC magnetics in case of steady state result in terms of if you know the uh, your, uh, your transient is okay and you have a good performance in terms of the analysis, you can go with this AC magnetic to reduce the time. And uh, this AC magnetic gives you a couple of options. The first thing is that it gives you the multiple circuit analysis. What does it mean? It means that it help you can have the one analysis with the multiple circuit. You can run in one of them like star connection, another one. Uh, uh, delta connection, another one with any different type of the con load connection or whatever it is. So you can have multiple connections with one model and run all of them together. It's it's very helpful and useful, uh, especially in terms of comparing the different uh, simulation teams. Uh, another important feature that is here that this AC magnetics gives you ability to do frequency frequency swing. What does it mean? You can run the simulation for different frequency like if you want to see 50 60 70 hertz 80 90 and different type of the frequency you just you don't need to different define different study you just do it in the one study and do the frequency sweep easy simple and easy make this and the final thing which might be interesting for you and useful that you can use parameterization parameterization like parameterization of some Geometry parameterization, or maybe the number of the turns, or something like that, you can use in your parameterization and inside one study and run that study. So, these are the good things, uh, useful tips that you may uh, use it to reduce time and uh, perform the simulation faster and better. So uh, my presentation is done. We'll answer, I'm going to hand over the presentation to my colleague Cal and after that we are uh, after this presentation we are going to answer the question thank you very much Cal to you thank you Mahmood we used EMS product to simulate a transformer application problem let us take a quick overview on EMS software as you can see on the screen EMS product offers electrical and magnetic solvers in addition, few multiphysics options are available with this product like thermal, motion, linear statics, and circuits. EMS software is available in four package options, electric, magnetic, professional, and premium. To get more information on the software packaging and pricing, you can connect with me after this webinar. To model and analyze a transformer application using EMS software, Magnetic package with thermal and linear statics add-ons should be used. Magnetic package enables you to utilize static, AC, and transient magnetic solvers, and multiphysics add-ons like thermal and linear statics helps to calculate temperature distribution, heat flux, stress, deformation, etc. This slide represents a small subset of capabilities offered by EMS software. To simulate a transformer problem, three capabilities are highlighted and utilized in the technical product demo you saw earlier. Number one, transformer wizard. This feature offers customizable templates for easy 
and fast development of different transformer models, thus eliminating the need to create a model from scratch in SOLIDWORKS. Number 2. AC Harmonic and Transient Magnetic These solvers can help a user to analyze magnetic fields, forces, eddy currents, losses due to time harmonic and time varying currents. Number 3. Thermal Analysis Through this multi-physics add-on, you can calculate temperature distribution, temperature gradient and heat flux in your model. Now let us do a quick recap on EMWorks products and their related applications. We can divide EMWorks offerings into two categories. Applications related to low frequency simulation and applications related to high frequency simulation. Within low frequency category, we offer three products, EMS 3D, EMWorks 2D and Motor Wizard. These products can be used to design and simulate applications like cables, insulators, bus bars, magnet arrays, solenoids, eddy current braking systems, wireless charging devices, transformers and electrical machines. Within high frequency category, we offer one product known as HF Works. This product can be used to design and simulate high frequency applications like antennas, waveguides, filters, resonators and connectors. EMWorks offers various free learning resources. With the software purchase or an evaluation license, users can access the demo viewer section of the software through which they can access many predefined model examples and tutorials. In addition, we post application notes, blogs and videos in our web page and social media channels regularly. We also offer paid customized training sessions to all the users of EMWorks software. I encourage everyone to try our product and experience its capabilities. Upon trial request and user qualification, we offer two weeks of free access to the limited version of software. In this limited version, users can access many predefined model examples and tutorials to learn about the product and its capabilities. To request for a trial license, visit our webpage www.emworks.com. Go to our contact us page fill in your information and submit your request. One of our representatives will reach out to you soon. I would like to thank you all on behalf of EMWorks for participating in this webinar. Feel free to contact us after this webinar to get more information on our products. Thank you.